Okay, I start the record. Okay, before that, uh, I want to ask all, all of you, can you uh, see the slide that I present? Yes, but not in full screen though. Normally the first group will have problems and the other groups will learn from the first group. You know, that's quite common. I hope the other groups, I don't want to see any more issues. Eh? Okay, uh, it's, group, it's group one has all come in. Yes. Okay, we will begin now. Okay. <clears throat> okay, good evening to Sir and everyone, and thank you uh, for finding time to join our today's webinar. Today, we will be discussing a quite interesting topic that is uh, about overweight and obesity. This topic is quite known nowadays because um, there are many people that has already knew about this topic before. Okay, but uh, we will be discussing more deeply with our special panelists for today. Okay, my name is Aina Afifa Bitti Yusli and I will be your moderator for this webinar. Okay, uh, before we begin, let's get to know our panelists first. The first speaker is Nur Shahirah Bitti Nazri. The second speaker is uh, Putri Nuliana Bitti Muhammad Yazid. And the third is Muhammad Amir Rahman bin Baharudin. And the last of all is Nur Shahada Bitti Yusuf for the last speaker. All of our speaker are highly educated and uh, they will be discussing about this topic given. Without further delay, I will now invite uh, the first speaker for today, uh, Nur Shaira, to give her first speech. You may begin. Thank you for the moderator. Um, before I start, um, may I know that everyone hear my voice? Okay, okay thank you. So, um, I will start with what is obesity and overweight? Obesity and overweight are defined as an abnormal uh, or excessive fat accumulation that pose heart risk. A body mass index is known uh, as a BMI um, of 25 until 29.9 uh, is considered of overweight and BMI of 30 or higher is considered obese. Obesity is a condition in which a person weight is significantly greater than median weight of people in that age group. <clears throat> obesity is not usually thought of a disease. Um, like everyone always thought, uh, oh, you got the obesity, uh, you will face it um, for all your life. But that is not. Obesity is root of all uh, the disease uh, that have that have affected everyone's life from childhood to adulthood. Obesity and being overweight are major risk um, factors for a variety of chronic disease, including cardiovascular disorder like heart disease, hypertension, cancer, stroke, and etc., which are leading causes uh, of death globally. Being overweight can also lead that to diabetes and it, it and it associated condi condition, including blindness, limb amputation, and they need for dialysis. Okay, you know what? For the statistic for overweight and obesity in adults and children continue to rise from 1975 to uh, 2016, I think. Um, the global prevalence of overweight or obese children and teenagers are increased more than fourfold, from 4% 4 to 18%. The comparison of 
uh, the comparison percentage obesity in the world, America has recorded that uh, has recorded the highest rate um, of obesity, per, which is 42.2% in 2017 until 2019. Meanwhile, in Southeast Asia, Asia Malaysia has the highest prevalence um, of obesity among adults. According to the National Health and Morbidity Survey for 2019, 50.1% of our adult population is overweight, which is 30.4% um, for the overweight and for the obese, 19.7%. So, um, <clears throat> how to differentiate between overweight and obese? Of course, we can uh, see by their BMI. Like I said before, someone with um, BMI of 25, to 29.1, uh, 29.9 is considered overweight, while someone with a BMI of 30 or higher is considered obese. Being overweight and or obese are both terms for having more body fat than what is considered healthy. Than what is considered healthy. Uh, both are used uh, to identify people who are at risk to health problem from having too much body fat. However, the terms uh, obese generally means a much higher amount of body than overweight. I think um, that's all from me. So I will pass it back to the moderator to discuss this topic further than with other panel. Okay, <clears throat> thank you to our first speaker. Okay, now we have known uh, more about obesity and overweight and it is uh, indeed a quite worrisome problem that um, it's, be it's becoming, uh, it's quite a worrisome problem in our society nowadays and there are a lot of uh, factors that can that can cause or triggers a uh, human diet. Okay, now uh, let's hear from uh, the next speaker that is uh, Putri Noliana to give a talk. Okay, you may begin. Hello, um, good evening. Okay, so uh, uh, can you move the slide? Okay, for next, these are, are some of most common factors contributing to obesity and overweight. First off, uh, if one of both parents are obese, uh, a child is more prone to develop obesity. Hormones involved in fat regulation are also affected by genetics. Leptin deficiency, for example, is a hereditary cause of obesity. The hormone leptin is generated in fat cells and the placenta when the when body fat storage are too high, leptin send a signal to, the, to our brain telling it to eat less. If the body is unable to create enough leptin, it will unable to signal the brain to eat less and obesity develops. As well as an unhealthy diet is the one of the major risk factors to obesity and overweight. Generally, all food are permissible to be eaten moderately, be it greasy or fatty meal as long as the proportion of the food is right. A balanced diet consists of proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and much more. Therefore, to have all this in every meal is a must. However, People tend to eat big portion in addition to having so many imbalanced side of dishes. People gain weight when they eat more calorie than they burn to activity. This imbalance is greatest contributed to weight gain. Due to improper eating behavior, people consume excessive amount of energy and their diets lack the elements needed to proper development, like um, snacking on high processed food and calorie dense food between meals, skipping breakfast, drinking highly 
frizzy drinks and dining out frequently are all examples of unhealthy diet. Next, lack of a physical activity is another important factor related to obesity. Many people have jobs that involve sitting at desk for most of the day, like us students right now, we're sitting all day because of the pandemic and online classes. So many people also like rely on their cars rather than walking or cycling. For relation, many people tend to watch televisions, browse the internet or play computer games and rarely take regular exercise. If you are not physically active enough, you will not utilize the energy provided by the food you eat and the excess energy will be stored as fat by your body. Also, uh, certain medications like certain medicines such as antidepressants and steroids can cause weight gain. The reason is for weight gain with the medication differs for each medication. Sometimes it can be a side effect of people who stop in smoking. Some medication can lead to the, to the weight gain if you don't compensate through diet or activity. Um, lastly, uh, stress can significantly impact your ability to maintain a healthy weight. It can also prevent you from losing weight. Stress in the short term causes the brain to produce an appetite suppressing, suppressing hormones called corticotropin releasing hormone during times of stress. Signals are also sent to adrenal glands that trigger the production of adrenaline, which temp temporarily suppressing any urge to eat as a part of a fight or flight response. Uh, stress in poor sleep enhance appetite, craving, and decrease motivation for physical activities. Sleep loss creates a hormone imbalance in the body that promote overeating and weight gain. Leptin and ghrelin are hormones that control appetite. Appetite. And when you don't get enough sleep, the production of this hormone are, is disrupted, resulting in increased hunger. According to the studies, um, the less sleep people get, the more likely they are be overweight or obese. This is largely due to chemical release during sleep that help regulate hunger and energy, energy expenditure. When the adrenaline rush has worn off, the blood sugar level has dropped. Cortisol jump into high gear to refill the energy supply swiftly at this point. Cortisol slows down your metabolism, making it difficult to lose weight. This is a few factors that I can list down. So this is all for me. I will leave it to the moderator. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, wow. No wonder a person can get uh, obesity that easily. Okay. Uh, this is because if the person is not careful enough in controlling her diet and does not care about his or her lifestyles, this can cause the person to become uh, overweight and obese, obese. Okay. Thank you so much to our second speaker. Now let's hear from our third speaker, Muhammad Amir Rahman, to give his talk about the effects of obesity. Okay. Thank you, moderator. Uh, next, I will continue the discussion. Okay. Uh, my part is uh, effect of obesity. Uh, there are 10 uh, effects of obesity. Okay. Number one uh, is uh, high blood pressure. Obesity uh, is a major risk factor for case of high blood pressure. When you uh, overweight, your heart will work hard to pump blood through the body. Uh, at the same time, this process uh, of pumping blood will put strong pressure on the arteries or blood vessels. Your blood vessels do not want to flow uh, blood when uh, this strong pressure this is what makes blood pressure increase. Uh, number two, uh, high cholesterol. 
obesity blocks the response to change in the type of fat you eat. Uh, obesity can increase the amount of low uh, density lipoprotein cholesterol or bad cholesterol produced by the liver. It uh, also reduces the release of LDL cholesterol from your blood. Number three uh, is stroke. Being overweight also cause hypertension, which is one of the leading cause of stroke. Another side effect of uh, obesity is that the body's metabolism change in way, but uh, in way uh, leads to excess lipids, high cholesterol, and high blood glucose. As a result, all of uh, this can damage blood vessels and cause the formation of blood clot can cause stroke in the uh, heart as well as the brain. Number four, type two. Uh, type 2 diabetes. Obesity can lead into, uh, into level of fatty acid and inflammation, which leads to insulin resistant. This then cause uh, type 2 diabetes to occur. Type 2 diabetes is the most common type uh, of diabetes and accounts for about 19% of diabetes case worldwide. Number 5, cancer. The link between uh, between uh, obesity and cancer risk is very clear. Research shows uh, that excess body fat uh, can increase your risk of getting several types of cancer, including cancer of the collector, breast, uterus, esophagus, kidneys, and pancreas. Physical, uh, uh, physician be physic believe it caused by inflammation caused by visceral fat, which is uh, the type of fat that surrounds your vital organ. Number six, uh, asthma. According to American Lung Association, excess weight around the chest as well as the abdomen may narrow the lungs and make it harder to breathe. Uh, fat tissue also produce inflammatory substance that can impair lung function and cause asthma. Number seven, uh, kidney disease. Uh, being overweight can also uh, affect your kidneys. Excess weight will force the kidneys to work harder and uh, filter out uh, body waste beyond normal levels. Over time, this extra work increase the risk of kidney disease. Remember, if you are overweight, then your kidneys should also work harder. Number eight, osteoarthritis. Offset Obesity also doubles your chance of getting osteoarthritis. Uh, in addition, uh, obese individuals who have osteoarthritis is one knee joint. We also have a five-fold risk of osteoarthritis in the other knee joint than those of normal weight. Number nine, uh, being overweight can also uh, make you more likely to develop gallbladder disease. This is more uh, at least among women than men. Uh, the research found that obese individuals may have higher cholesterol level in their bile. In addition, individuals who are obese uh, may also have large gallbladder uh, that are not functioning properly. Some studies show that does uh, have a large amount of Fat, uh, the waist are more likely to get a uh, gallstone than those who have a uh, fat around hip, the hips and thigh. Uh, the last one is sleep apnea. Obesity also contributes to the uh, incident of sleep apnea as it can cause increased pressure on the upper airways. Uh, this can result in failure and decrease neuromuscular control of fat storage. This fat uh, deposits contribute to decrease in lung volume and make it more difficult to breathe. Uh, thank you, that's all from me. Thank you, Amir. Okay, wow, uh, it is really quite dangerous matter and uh, people really need to be more concerned about their bodies, uh, about their body and uh, lifestyles. Okay, thank you, Speaker Ame, for the talk. Next, we will move on to our last speaker, Nur Shahada, to give a talk on how to uh, overcome obesity and overweight. Okay. Mm.
thank you to the moderator. I will start my speech with how to deal with obesity. Uh, firstly, eating healthy food is one way to prevent obesity because it can change habits to experience healthy eating early on. Eating healthy food uh, can limit unhealthy food in the household because it dangerous to your health. Um, secondly is eating more serving of vegetables and fruits. Uh, filling plate with veggies and fruits can help keep calories reasonable and reduce the risk of overeating. The daily recommendation for fruit and vegetables intake is five to nine servings for adults. Uh, three is getting enough sleep. Who don't get enough sleep or poor sleep quality will end up with Shwada, I can't hear you. Something wrong with your life. When participants are not free access to food. Fourthly, focus on reducing daily stress. Stress uh, also can have many effects on body and mind. And stress also may trigger a brain response that changes eating patterns and lead to craving for high calorie food. Fifthly, engage in regular aerobic activities. Uh, incorporate regular physical activity from Hello, Shweta. It also can prevent obesity. The World Health Organization is who recommends that kids and teenagers can get at least 60 minutes of physical activity daily. Fun physical include games, sports, gym class, or even other chores. And consume less bad fat and more good fat also can prevent overweight. Contrary the belief behind the low fat diet, crazy, diet craze and the 90s, not all fat is bad. In 2017, published in the Nutrition Journal showed that intake of healthy dietary fats as fat as poly and special I think okay, uh, I know you continue. Yeah, you continue. Okay, uh, it's okay. Shwada is a problem in line. Okay, um, so thank you, Shwada, for the brilliant speech. Okay, uh, Shwada has uh, speak about uh, on how to overcome uh, this obese lifestyle. Okay, to the people who are watching right now, I hope all of you can get some information and uh, become more cautious in what you are eating because we need to use our body for a very long time. Okay. Uh, now, we will move to uh, Q&A session. If there is any question that you want to ask uh, about, uh, you can write it down in the comment below or WhatsApp us. Okay, now I get some, I get uh, a question from here. Okay, uh, the question is, uh, why people love to eat junk foods rather than cooking? Okay, for this question, uh, I will ask uh, Shahira uh, to answer for this question. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you, moderator. Um, okay, I think why do people love to eat junk food rather than cooking? It is because the junk food tend to be cheap, tasty, and filling. Junk food, um, as we all know, junk food and fast food products are generally easy to grab and take with you. We can get um, junk food everywhere and anytime. If you want to eat at late night, you can go drive through to McDonald's or KFC and so on. Junk food and fast food also can save our time. You don't need to cook at home. You can just order by grab food or from Food Panda. 
I think that is why people uh, love to eat junk food and fast food rather than cooking because um, cooking for some people is quite hard for them. Um, <clears throat> quite hard for them. So I think that's all from me. Thank you. Uh, you can okay. conclude, Raina. Time. Oh, time. Yeah, you can conclude. Okay, uh, for the conclusion, okay, thank you, Shaira, for the brilliant answer. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Okay, for the conclusion, um, let's, let's, uh, so sorry. Okay, for the conclusion, I ask for all of you to become uh, more aware and more cautious uh, in what you are eating because, um, uh, we need to use our body for a long time, and when we eat uh, unhealthy stuff, uh, and we don't, we and we do not take care of our body, it will cause uh, our body to be ill, and uh, some will cause uh, death. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you for, uh, for joining our webinar for today. Thank you. Okay, um, thank you very much. We'll move on to the next group then, okay? Uh, Aina, uh, stop recording and then um, upload the video from Google Drive to YouTube. From YouTube, give me the link. Put it under unlisted, okay? Uh, I need the link by today. By tonight, I think yes, you should be able to. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.